my name is Aileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the anatomy of the black hole. So uh, first let's figure out where a black hole comes from. A black hole uh, comes from a very massive star going uh, at the end of its life. It has a supernova type 2. It goes into the neutron star uh, stage and then it continues to implode until it becomes a black hole. So that means that, that there is a finite mass because this used to be a star. And this is what's really important about a black hole. A black hole is considered a point in space, so it has zero volume, but it has all that mass and confined into that point of space. So this singularity it has infinite density, but it has finite mass. And most people think it has kind of like infinite mass. No, it has finite mass. And it's the mass of what's left over of the star. So the next important uh, part of a black hole is the event horizon, and that will be this blue line. And the event horizon is how far away from the star can you go? Um, it's sort of like the point of no return. Once you've passed the event horizon, there is no chance of escaping the black hole, which means that the escape velocity is higher than the speed of light, which means not even light can escape the black hole. Now, another important thing is that generally uh, there's a lot of binary systems in the, in the universe, which means that there are two stars uh, that, that are near each other. When one of them goes through a supernova tube stage and becomes a black hole, the possibility of uh, sucking material from the nearby star is actually pretty high. So what we see is this accretion disk, and this is it. And it's all the mass of the nearby star swirling around the black hole. Now, if the black hole is actually feeding, which means like if that mass is actually falling into the black hole, passing the event horizon, you get this superheating um, phenomena which shoots out these jets. So you see all these jets come out of the black hole. So X-ray jets. And these are the main features of the black hole. There are some exotic features and there are theoretical models of the different black holes, like the reisner nordstrom black hole, which means that you will have two event horizons and the first event horizon will flip uh, time and space, meaning that the black hole between those two event horizons wouldn't be a point in space, it would be a point in time. And then when you pass the second event horizon, uh, space and time flip back to normal again. Uh, there is a lot of exotic theories about black holes, but these are the main features of a black hole. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the anatomy of a black hole.